Part 8. Target. Reducing stress. Everyone talks about stress. Most often, scientists, media, and merchants of goods make us believe that we miss the target on stress management. Some offer a quick fix. Surviving in a world with continued changes to learn from the wisdom of the past. Who has the time? Turn the page, continue, and don't stop. As a psychologist, increasingly I hear complaints about panic and claustrophobia. People need psychological space. They feel powerless. They need oxygen. This statement was as true in 2005 when I talked about taking preventative measures. Prevention is easier than intervention. Now, we are in 2012. Economic, social, and psychological restlessness is even more obvious in the population. There is massive anxiety in the air. You and I know life is tough. At the same time, we are expected to stay calm and look poised. So, on the surface, we appear calm, but we have to pedal like mad to keep afloat. Sometimes I feel like saying, how can I find my inner calm when I cannot even find my car keys? Give me a break. Even when we are quietly going through the day, Minding our business, do you think we are left in peace? Thanks to the television and the newspapers, everything becomes a major problem, a catastrophe. Harsh images are spread in front of our eyes with often dramatic effects. As if our awareness of difficult world events was not enough, we are forced to voyeurism through a flood of social media. A daily diet of tensions, lived or perceived, can weaken our nerves. Even professionals in the health field are guilty. Instead of focusing on the strengths of the human being, health professionals often highlight weaknesses. Constantly, we are reminded about how stressed we are. Oh, well, that which creates fear sells. Selling fear is big business.